What's up YouTube, it's me Demi. Remember the uh, crit lightning trapper that we made at the end of last league for 3.0 that was low life? Well I've remade the character using the new Tinker skin, which is actually a really fucking cool unique for trapper specifically. And I've remade it as life base, so as you can see we have 5.5k life. Got some pretty stupid amounts of damage going on here, but we're gonna run a quick map while I talk about the build and what we've changed. So because we were low life we used to be using Shaz, we're no longer using that. We're using Tinker skin as our only unique, and then everything else is just rares. So that chest, I believe, is like maybe a couple chaos in League, if not less than that. So the main stats you want on that chest are the uh, the life, obviously, it's 60 to 90 life. And there's also a trap cooldown roll on it. So if you can get anywhere from like, it's 20 to 30% trap cooldown. So try to get the highest trap cooldown you can, because that's actually the rate at which your lightning traps recharge. You see how fucking fast that is? It's amazing. But I did remake it. The only legacy item that I'm using would be this Wise Oak, which is like 5% more penetration than I should have, so... If you're looking for a good League build, this is definitely one of them. It's fairly budget, because again, you only need the Tinker skin. Everything else is just rares. And I'll go ahead and like, I'll list a bunch of other uniques that you can use in slots for the, uh, for the items that I'm wearing. If you can't, if you're struggling with them or whatever. But we'll just do this map clear. So the, the concept, we are crit. Our power charges are generated through, um, fuck, what's it called? Through the chest piece we're wearing. Oh, oh, that's bad. Leave me alone. Not the chest piece. Frenzy charges are generated through the chest piece. The, uh, power charges are generated by a node on the tree. We have a chance to gain power charges whenever we are triggering a trap, right? Or whenever a trap is triggered, that's what I meant to say. We also gain life whenever our traps are triggered because of the chest, and we gain energy shield whenever our traps are triggered because of the chest. So we kind of just run around and throw traps at shit, and everything else is automatic. All you gotta do is shield charge, throw traps, and press your flasks. Sometimes I have to use Vol Clarity. My Vol Clarity lasts for 17 seconds, which is 17 seconds of not having to fucking worry about mana at all. So like, if you use your timing right, you can basically have this up for the entire fucking map, which is just stupid. There's my damage with everything up without power charges actually it should be a little bit higher than that but i'll have path of building linked below the stream with like level 100 tree and my current gear and all that other shit so as i said the only unique you need is your tinker skin which is um this gives you frenzy charge generation this gives you phasing whenever you trigger a trap it gives you life it gives you a little bit of es and evasion along with 100 life when your trap is triggered and 50 energy shield when your trap is triggered this is the only source of life recovery that i have as you can see in that boss fight i got pretty fucking low so I would highly recommend you not use that as your only life source and you just have a life pot. But I'm stupid, I don't have that. So, everything else. You want a spell damage and spell crit dagger. This is a very good one. You don't need this though, you could just use a, um... What's it called? A divinarius. That gives spell damage, spell crit. You could also use a heartbreaker, which is spell damage, spell crit, and your spells have culling strike. Lightning trap is considered a spell, so it applies to all of those things. It's actually tagged with projectile, trap, spell, and lightning. So any of those four modifiers will scale your damage. Proj damage, trap damage, spell damage, lightning damage. Remember that. Um, as for a shield, go for spell damage, go for spell crit, and life and resist. These shields are actually really fucking cheap because nobody gives a shit about spell damage life shields for some reason. So if you can pick up one of these for a couple chaos, feel free. There's a unique shield called Wrathpith Globe, which is also fairly good. It's got spell damage. Block chance applies to spells and uh, maximum life and some resistances, which is pretty good. It doesn't have a spell crit, but I mean, it's fairly easy to get crit on this build, so. You have a diamond flask and power chargers, I'll be at like 70% chance to crit. Plus the diamond flask puts me at like 95% chance to crit, so that's, that's fine. Um, helm, you're going to want a life resistance helm. Any of it, additional energy shield you can get is just another help to your uh, effective life pool. So if you go for hybrid life ES gear, that's great. Amulet, go for uh, life resist stats. If you can get crit crit multi on an amulet, that will give you a lot more damage. I do not have that on mine. I need life and strength, so I go for this. Uh, again, stats resistances on rings. There's really like, you can use opal rings if you want extra damage. You could use essences for lightning damage. You could use essences for crit multi on rings. Diamond rings would be great with crit multi. I'm just using random shit I had in my stash that fulfilled my stat needs. Uh, life st and stats resistances here. Life resistance is on your gloves. If you can get some attack speed on your gloves, that's great. It will help out your um, shield charge attack speed. It doesn't matter that much, though. If you want to use Insanities for more shield charge attack speed, feel free. Insanity Essence. 
um, boot, oh, sorry, belt, <laughs> not boot. Uh, ideally, I think you want a crystal belt or a leather belt for the additional life pool. And then you're going to want life and resistances and stats. If you can get the penetration from a hysteria essence, that's great. Definitely not needed. And then boots, again, life resistances, stats. Movement speed is good as well. Um, best in slot enchantments. For helm, you're going to want or, um, lightning trap damage or lightning trap crit. If you're struggling with crit, you don't need it though. I think the last enchant is lightning trap pierces like one or two additional enemies. That's also very good, but it doesn't help you against bosses. It only helps you against trap clearing. AoE clear, which you don't really need, so don't worry about that. I'd probably go for damage, personally. Um, Glove Enchant, I would get the Commandment of the... Um, what's it called? The one that spawns a copy of yourself. I don't remember what it's called. Hang on, I have it in my path of building. What the fuck is it called? Reflection. That's what it's called. Commandment of Reflection. I would get that. It spawns a copy of yourself that runs around and like distracts enemies from you. This is like, you can also go for the uh, Chilled Ground enchantment, Commandment of Spite. Um, you could go for Commandment of Winter, it's an AoE projectile spell that will kill things that touch you. And then for Boot enchantment, I would go for 10% Elemental Penetration if you haven't killed recently. The way that that interacts is because we are a trapper, we don't kill anything ever, the traps do. So that enchantment is just 10% Penetration forever. You could also go for like Added Lightning if you haven't killed recently, or Added Cold if you've been hit recently, or... Um, regen if you've been hit recently, that would help your life and mana regen, that's pretty good too. Or movement speed, there's a lot of options there, but that's, I would go for the pen personally, I think it's the highest damage. Flasks, Wise Oak, make sure that your lightning resistance is the highest so that you gain the 10% or er, lightning penetration, whatever. If you can perfectly balance all of your resistances, you will take 10% reduced damage taken of each element. But I didn't do that, obviously, I just take less fire damage, so that's fine. Other flasks, you're going to want a life pot, probably bleed immunity, you're going to want a diamond flask somewhere with freeze immunity. You can swap bleed and freeze between these two, it doesn't matter. Quicksilver flask with movement speed on it, mana pot with whatever on it, I went for a curse immunity, you could go for shock immunity, doesn't really honestly matter, whatever. Uh, that's all the gear, let's go over the links. Lightning trap. Again, it is a projectile trap spell duration lightning, so you have a lot of supports you can possibly link to this. I'm going with cluster traps, so we throw four traps at a time, which means we shotgun four, we don't shotgun, we explode four traps and hit the same enemy with four traps, it's really good. And then lightning penetration and pierce would be my um, third link and my fourth link. And then my fifth link is trap and mind damage, and then sixth link increase crits for when you actually go crit. You don't need this, if you're going non-crit you could just throw in Ellie focus and drop all the crit from your tree and whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, cast one damage taken, setup, cast one damage taken, immortal call. Also using greater multiple projectiles and uh, arctic breath. This gives us an AoE chill effect toward anything that hits us. It's also a projectile, so it goes pretty fucking fast. Um, shield charge, five, four to five faster attacks. Everywhere, every setup ever uses that. It's my movement skill. My other movement skill is flame dash, linked with faster casting. That's so I can go up and down ledges easily, or like if I get stuck in a trap or something and I can't shield charge like a bear trap, you can flame dash out of it. I also have that link with portal because I'm lazy and I don't want to open my inventory. Um, other links, you have your aura setups, which is Wrath, Blasphemy, Assassin's Mark, Enlighten. You don't actually need this Enlighten at all. You'll be fine without it. You just have to be a little bit better about using your Mana Potion or your Vault Clarity. If you can afford Enlighten, get Enlighten. It helps a little bit with your Mana Pool. Um, but Wrath gives you lightning damage to... or sorry, more lightning damage with spells, which is huge. Damage boosts, and then Blasphemy, Assassin's Mark. This means enemies take an increased crit damage, and they have an increased chance to take crits which helps you sustain your crits. You don't actually get power charges from your traps because of this, so that's kind of annoying. That's on the skill tree, though. Um, and then we have our other random links. I have cast one damage taken Ice Golem. I don't like self-casting golems, so that's up to you. I also have increased duration linked with Vault Clarity, and I have a random decoy totem for boss fights. So, here's the skill tree. Ascendancy-wise, I think I'm doing this in a really weird order, so for that I'm sorry, but Ascendancy-wise, we go Sapatois, which is an Assassin Ascendancy. You go Explosive Expert for 10% Elemental Penetration. That's not first, though. First, you should go for these ones. Go for Chain Reaction. This gives you, when your traps trigger, your nearby traps also trigger. So if you're throwing, you know, 11 traps at a time and an enemy steps on one of them, every single trap in this radius will explode. So that's the, like, that's the main reason we go Saboteur Chain Reaction. Nothing else is that important, but the rest of these, it's just like Ellie damage, mind laying speed, trap laying speed, damage per trap that you have out, so you could get a, a, up to 88% increased damage, which is pretty good. 
Um, this gives you LE damage, and this gives you LE damage and elemental penetration, which is really good. And then our last two points don't matter at all. It's fucking cannot be blinded and chance to create a smoke cloud when hit. It's fucking terrible. So you don't need Uber Lab on this build, which is kind of nice if you're playing hardcore or whatever. But that's the ascendancy. Skill tree wise, things we want. We want LE damage, we want spell damage, we want crit, crit, multi, life, projectile damage, power chargers. So we go through LE damage, we go through LE mantle damage, crit, life. Crit crit multi, spell damage, life, uh, life, spell crit, spell crit multi, trap cooldown recovery speeds, jewel sockets, this is lightning damage crit multi, this is life, this is uh, crit crit multi. This node is really important, this is your power charge generation, it's 15% chance to get a power charge when, you, when your trap is triggered, so you need this, definitely need this. Uh, we head into witch to gain all the spell crit crit multi and the uh, spell damage and life nodes down here. As well as the power charge and the spell damage per power charge, we have 5, so this is 20% spell damage for 1 point, which is twice what you get from every other node on the tree that gives spell damage, so that's a very solid node for us. And then we get more life over here, a jewel socket, jewel socket, jewel socket. Then we head over here, get a power charge, get trap and mine damage, um, penetration with traps here again, another 10% alley pen, jewel socket, life, frenzy charges. Frenzy charges are generated by our chest, as I said earlier. Um, another jewel socket with projectile damage, which is again, it's trap and or, sorry, our lightning trap is a projectile, so that's good. Crit crit multi, frenzy charge, frenzy charges are more damage as well as attack speed for our shield charge. Uh, jewel socket, life, and then down here we have master sapper. This gives you two additional traps placed at a time, which is really good. And then you gain more frenzy charge generation when your traps are triggered, so that's just an additional insurance layer there. And then I think I missed saboteur. This gives you another additional trap. So you have a total of 11 max traps. But yeah, jewel sockets, things that scale your damage. Because we are using a dagger and a shield, that means spell damage, spell damage while holding a shield, um, lightning damage, projectile damage, generic damage, crit multi with lightning skills, crit multi with elemental skills, maximum life. Uh, is there anything else offhand that I can think of? I think that's most of them. So my jewels are kind of spread through all of that. If you need stats resistances, get them on your jewels as well. So this one is crit multi with lightning life, spell damage life, crit multi proj damage life. None of my jewels are actually perfect, so this build, so be aware of that. I don't have four prop damage jewels like I normally would. I mostly just have life and one damage prop. This is crit multi life. This is uh, crit multi and life. This is spell damage life, yes. So I would have a lot of improvement to get on my jewels, but my damage is pretty fucking good regardless. I think it goes up to like 26k with I have full everything. And then with uh, Wise Oak up, I have 77% lightning penetration. If I had the boot enchant, I would have 87% lightning penetration. If you don't have a legacy Wise Oak, you would have 82% lightning penetration. Pretty fucking good build, if I do say so myself. It's very budget, pretty noob friendly, I think. Traps is a pretty basic playstyle. You just shield charge around, throw traps on the pack, run away, and then the pack dies. It's great. If you wanted to, you could pick up fucking phase acro acro if you just really want extra damage. Um, other flask options, you could use the Dying Sun for two extra projectiles per trap. You could use really expensive mirror to your gear if you wanted. <laughs> I don't have any of that. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. It's doing pretty well for me in Standard, but you can make this in Legacy League or any other league for that matter very, very easily. Tinker skin. It's a good fucking, it's a good fucking chest. But yeah, have fun in League. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. The path of building will be linked in the description below. I might make a forum guide for this as well. If it, if I do, it'll be in the description. But if you enjoy this, check out my stream, check out my Patreon if you wish to support me further. And that'll be Demi out. I'll see you in the next one.